All right, uh, let's look at the uh, acceptable probability assignments. All right, let's see you have a sample space S. Uh, outcomes are E1 through EN. All right, uh, when you assign probability to uh, each outcome, there are a couple rules that you have to follow. But other than that, you can assign any number you want. All right, so uh, first condition is, uh, since we're talking about probability, uh, probability of uh, each outcome must be always between 0 and 1. All right, so this is true for all i, which goes from 1, 2, 3, all the way to n. All right. That makes sense, right? Because we're talking about probability. We don't want any number greater than 1 or, or negative numbers. All right, another one is uh, 2. Since uh, sample space is supposed to have all possible outcomes, when you add probability of uh, all outcomes, so here E1, probability of uh, E2, and plus probability of uh, E3, and you just keep on adding all the way to uh, probability of En. Right? So the sum has to be exactly equal to 1. Right? So those are the two rules, and as long as uh, you follow those two rules, uh, you, can, uh, you can assign any number to um, uh, uh, any number to the for, for each probability, all right? So let's look at this uh, small example. Let's say you have a sample space with uh, three uh, outcomes, E1, E2, and uh, E3. All right, let's look at the uh, following probability assignment. Are they acceptable? All right, so uh, e, uh, probability of E1 is uh, 0 0.2 probability of E2 is 0 0.5, probability of E3 is 0 0.1. So it looks like uh, it satisfied the first condition. How about the second condition? Uh, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.1 is only 0 0.8, uh, which does not add up to uh, 1. So therefore, this guy, this first example, is not acceptable. All right. Now let's look at the second example. All right, so probability of E1 is one half, and probability of E2 is one quarter. Probability of E3 is uh, one quarter. So it satis easily satisfied number one. And uh, number two, uh, let's see, add them all up. Uh, one half plus one quarter plus one quarter is exactly equal to one. So therefore, second example is the acceptable probability assignment. All right, how about the last one? All right, you have 0 0.9, 0 0.3. Now you have a negative 0 0.2. So that will violate the number one condition, all right? Even though 0 0.9 plus 0 0.3 plus uh, negative 0 0.2 would be exactly equal to one, but still, this is not acceptable because it violates the first condition, all right? Uh, so that's, that, that is the um, uh, acceptable probability assignment. You just have to uh, satisfy these uh, given conditions. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.